It's 2024 and we're doing an unboxing review on Golden Axe. It's been a long time since I put together one of these, a riser. So the one downside about Golden Axe is the whole no online thing, but it's a cabinet I've had my eye on for a long time. I finally have it and we're finally opening this bad boy up. It's kind of the whole motto for the beginning of 2024 was picking up some of these cabinets we've had our eye on for a long time because when they sell out, they're gone. I mean, when's the last time you saw these gentlemen on the outside of an arcade one-up box? And here's our first look inside the box for those who have not ever seen the inside of Golden Axe before. We have our instructions. <laughs> it's as old as Turtles in Time. Like, it's just funny that, you know, we're doing a cab with a riser 2024 with all the deluxe and XL, but yeah, here's our hardware, our ball tops, and how all the boxes look. And we do have extra boxes because of the whole riser. Now check it out. You know when you get an RK1 up and it has those black foam inserts that are holding everything in there? This has regular styrofoam when you look down in there. There's none of those black foams. It's all the styrofoam. So we have our sides and our back, the riser, that control deck, and the BOE monitor, speakers, and marquee. We'll get this put together and we'll check it out. We'll do a review side by side right next to Turtles. And I just want to note that both sides look really good. I mean, look at that side art. This is a great cab. I'm, I'm, guys, I'm stoked I have this. Sat on it for a little bit, was out of town, finally putting this together, and it looks great. No flaws on the side. Hopefully the riser looks good too. We just had to take all that shrink wrap off, but yeah, I just wanted to show this before I assemble it. All right, just about finished, and I just want to show you something. This is the only Sega cabinet as of the end of February 2024 that's still available. This is the only Sega logo I could find anywhere on Death Adder. And other than the front and the back side of that riser, very small printing of Sega, you're just not gonna see it anywhere. Your model number, your serial, just gonna be arcade one up. All right, the moment of truth, firing this on for the first time. Marquee came on immediately. Screen works, we'll see if the sound Turtles is right here. Oh, we have sound. Okay, another Sega right here. So you see the Sega at the startup and the front and the back side of that riser. Okay, and I gotta tell you something funny is I went I went with either one of these and I then remembered it's control number one. So the only, and everyone knows this, it's just, you know, you're so familiar with any of your four player cabs, all your controls are on player one. I gotta tell you that the sticks are very clicky. Reminds me of my Simpsons. My Simpsons four player does have some good clicky sticks. And actually this Turtles that I bought secondhand in excellent condition, very good joysticks too. My first Turtles, even though this is a review on Golden Axe, the joysticks were pretty bad. This is good. And dude, I mean, this has probably been sitting around since when? 2020? 2021? Always had my eye on this cabinet for a couple of reasons. It's a Sega. I'm a huge Sega fan. Great games. And the, the control panel. It does have Superman colors. The red, the blue, the yellow. It always reminds me of Superman and... You know, this is just something that I really wanted to get. You know, we've all seen a lot of gameplay, a lot of reviews on this. But in 2024, like, why would you buy a cabinet with the riser? Because it's nostalgia. Like, this is special. And you just don't want to see this sell out without, you know, kind of thinking about, should I pick it up or not? I'm right back to Sega. I was wrong. On the marquee, you do see a Sega. So there is a Sega there. On your screen, your startup, you're going to see it in the backdrop of some of these games 
I just saw it on the wrestling war and the front and the back side of the riser. Now I probably do upgrade. I mean, I'm going to be completely honest with the marquee and you go Sables, you're going to get the official Sega logo somewhere on here. It's going to be, you know, the arcade accurate, not going to do anything on the side. Like I don't want to put like a Sega decal on either end. The marquee's fine. I did say that I kind of wanted to go coin door and I want to say that it's not black on the other side. So if you decide to get this cabinet or you have this cabinet, you want to put a coin door in, you're either going to have to cover this up or flip it over and, and paint it. If you want to have it look like turtles, I actually might live with this. I, I'm not going to decide right now, but I am going to swap out the marquee. I'm going to do turtles too, but yeah, definitely changing the marquee out and seeing on the marquee for a second with the lights off. I mean, you can see that the further you get, I always had this pet peeve where it just kind of just kind of brightens out, washes out on you. If you're up close, it does look good. The colors are vibrant, but I do like the Sable slip on. So definitely changing the marquee, but yeah, here's how it looks with the lights off. And every game does have the settings. And we can change the scan lines, the difficulty. And to exit, you just go down and hit your A button. It'll take you back to the main menu. And Golden Axe does come with five games. The headline game, Golden Axe, The Revenge of Death Adder. Golden Axe, the OG. Shinobi. Wrestle War. And Altered Beast. So, some great Sega lineups here. It's a special cab, guys. The only way you're going to get these games licensed is through this cabinet. And Arcade 1-Up. I don't know how many are left. I paid $4.49 at Target as of the beginning of March, March 1st, 2024. These are still available. And it could just be that my floor is not completely flat or it's higher on the other ends, but Turtles Control Deck is just a little bit higher. So maybe that's just the way that generation compared to the Sharkman is, is built. It looks about, you know, I mean, it's just a little bit higher. So it's, it's a little lower, probably the OG NBA jam, the same. I never had those two right next to each other, but yeah, you can just see the little difference here between the height of the control decks and the artwork on the side. It's just a continuation all the way down to the riser, get the same logo on the bottom and on the top. You also get the five games right on the front panel here compared to the coin doors where you would get the logos on the far bottom. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to live with this or not. I do like that logo. It's the same logo on the back side as the front. It's sharp. It really stands out. I like the color scheme. I actually might just stick with this. Okay, just because this was driving me nuts. Turtles in Time is 59 inches tall. Golden Axe, 58 and a half. So a half an inch difference here. Turtles in Time control deck is 38 inches high. Golden Axe, 37 and a half. So the same as the top as the control deck. We're talking a half an inch difference. And some gameplay on Revenge of Death Adder. I believe the scan lines are on. Looks pretty good. The BOE monitor, not a bad angle. Anywhere you look. Now the speakers don't sound super loud. I do have it. We're going to leave it at 11. I'm not going to go all the way. Go to 15 really quick. Okay, I guess the, the speakers are fine. I just want to, it's a little late. I don't want to play it too loud, but let's do a quick demo here of Revenge of Death Adder. Okay, that's the magic and uh, never actually never played this game before. Except on the high-low hack, I should say. So different controls. We do have an attack, a jump, and a magic button. So it does play pretty good. The scan lines again are on. And we could get four players on here if we wanted to. Unfortunately, not online. You can ride this.
There we go. Okay, it took me a little bit, but we hold down player one and player two for about two or three seconds, takes us back to the main menu. In case you've never played this, could always look at the instructions, but we'll check out Golden Axe. Interesting thing here is player one isn't doing anything, but you hit player two and you move your controller around. So we're actually starting off with the player two. It's interesting. I'm gonna see if we can get you know what? There's only two players on this one, isn't there? That's, that explains it. So you got to use player two for golden axe. Gosh, I'm learning all new things today. But I do like the scan lines. It looks good. Like playing a real arcade isn't it and the same for shinobi so check this out so it's player two so player one this is weird operates everything player two because it's only a one player game is going to operate the entire game so going forward now we're using player two Well, I walked right into that one. It's gonna take some getting used to using control one, player one, to go through the menu. But when you get into, that adder's the only four player game. So this is all making sense now. Get into Wrestle War, even though we hit start, we have to use two player game, player two or player three. So unfortunately, I mean, just think about this for a second. Your four player control deck, perfect for two players. I always said this. Two grown adults, one on each side. Unfortunately, the way they make this is we're playing this. This is no different than playing on a two-player control deck. So it's going to be tight if you're just going to play with a friend or somebody on a two-player game. And I know you've seen this in other reviews, but because this is a vertical screen, you do get that bezel on each side. And I just love the colors with this game. Like, I know a lot of people kind of knock this, and I know it, it probably takes some getting used to. Let's kind of compare it to Avengers Galactic Storm on X-Men. But I just think it's nice to have this option, having a fifth game, a vertical screen with that bezel. I mean, I think it looks good. And lastly, Altered Beast, which, I mean, who hasn't played Altered Beast as a kid? Playing this on the Sega Genesis, not so much on the arcade but I used to play this a ton back in the early 90s. Spoiler alert, players two and three again. So yeah, it's great having this game on here. I'm, I don't think you can go wrong with any option on here. It's a great game lineup. If it had online, guys, it'd probably be the best four-player cabinet from Arcade 1-Up. Okay, all in all, I'm happy with this purchase. It's going to take some getting used to that it's, you know, you operate everything with, with player one, and then most games, it's these two joysticks. So it's going to get a little tight playing. Death Adder is your only four-player game. Besides no online, that's the one downside. I think the game lineup's great. It's a great cabinet. There's nothing physically wrong with this. Everything is just perfect out of the box. I like the look. It looks good next to Turtles. I'm happy with it. I think that if you're on the fence with Golden Axe, with other arcade one-ups that have these guys, I think now's the time to pick them up. I want to thank everybody for watching. I'll see you guys next time. They do look pretty good together. You just gotta change out the marquees.
But yeah, guys, it's nostalgia. If you come across these old cabinets, I think you pick them up. You might regret it. <laughs>